Yes! Okay. Maybe I didn't make it all the way. But oh yeah! Okay, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for continuing to support and continuing to watch. I'm just uh, going back up to the, the local trails, uh, part of our um, jumping skills uh, technique really. Uh, part three, I'm going to be looking to get to the same Muddy Bums line where we've been doing the first and the third jump. We're going to have a look at the second jump today, which is a little bit further on. So, uh, quick pedal up and uh, let's get to the top of the trail. See you in a minute. Okay, top of the trails, you guess where we are, on my favourite little warm-up jump. Where it's just... Oh! Okay, I cleared out well. Somebody's since taken a tree out. Distance wise. So that was a bit of a smoother one. Didn't pump it so much or pop it. Uh, but let's uh, get back round. Okay, back on the muddy bums line. Jump one. Free hop. Just about didn't really pop on that at all. I just expected the speed to take me over, and I was probably a bit slow. So let's get back and maybe the speed was okay, but I just need to preload and pop a bit more. Got a bit lazy then. Okay, let's have another look. Okay, see a bit more speed and a bit more pop. That was a bit more pop, it was a bit better. Let's bypass this one a minute. Ah, okay, that's better. Let's maybe connect that first one now with the berm, and the second and the third. Let's give that middle double. Okay, see you in a minute. Let's get all three done. Passenger then. Oh, come on, that's. I don't know, it's getting in my head that jump is a minute. I've probably had enough speed. I'm not too sure if I sabotaged the berm, so I didn't have enough speed. But then, when I came off there, I didn't seem to do anything either. I was just a passenger and almost got bucked. Uh, coming off that, almost got bucked going over, so I'm just going to chill a minute and think about this jump or you know, the top one now, I've got a that one's dialed in at the top I know what I'm doing I generally know the speed and how much pop is this one, and this one is essentially the same you know, axle to axle so see so you come off there, there's one yeah, it's about two axles lip to to this casing log, if you want to call it that. And then probably another bike length. Sorry. So, yeah, it's you know, 
two bike lengths from there to there and then another one from the flat landing if you like to the transition so three in all and then down to there so I know I'm over thinking it and there's a big gap there which is what's bothering me basically uh, but the mechanics are right and I should be able to clear all this it's just there's a bit of a tight run in coming out of that berm and trying to carry the speed whereas the one at the top is a nice straight run into it so you've got to come out of this berm keep wide because then by keeping wide out to this tree keeping wide out to this tree it just opens this up slightly so the idea is then we're aiming to be just to the left of this stump which somebody's taken out at some point uh, but you know the, the problem is you're aiming at that tree and that's not where we want to go we want to follow it down so you've got to just come in slightly before you then maybe straighten it up over here so that would be ideally where you want the wheel to go out land down in there which i know on this isn't going to look anything and then off onto the next one and not look or think about that tree there that's all the uh the bits and debris in there so just uh, it's a bit more of a step down on the one further up so in theory you should clear the same distance that bit easier uh, it's just the the access into it is a little bit more technical maybe to set up and clearly I'm, I'm talking through it but I'm trying to tell yourself so let's go and have a another run up and just give it a go and get the better speed. Yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe I didn't make it all the way. But oh yeah. Definitely got my front wheel onto that down transition. Just felt my back was maybe halfway on that top flat but oh man oh it's scary isn't it oh come on oh brilliant i can't tell you how much that means to me last year almost biting it on that uh, on the very first ride on this actually the she devil as i was calling her for a while uh, but what a bike to learn on oh it's brilliant but yeah even that was uh nice for there so to come back and pretty much a year to the day uh, i know i've mentioned it before but it was a day the clocks went forward last year so i missed an hour with the clocks and i missed another hour in the afternoon messing this jump up which is why i committed then this year particularly last year i was just getting my confidence back and my general riding ability and understanding this bike and its suspension and just getting better I guess with the fundamentals and then this year it was more of a concerted effort to really look at my technique jumping mainly so I can carry more speed enjoy the trails enjoy different trails uh, and my drops so going to van road jump trails and, and line four that was a, a kick on I still haven't cleared that yet but yeah I'm just mindful to stay away from the really big dirt jumps uh, but to come back now like a year on and do this whole line all three jumps ah oh. oh man i'm buzzing it's a pity i'm on my own well i'm not because i got you guys so uh you know i appreciate this you're kind of sharing this moment with me uh i ain't gonna say it's like watching me daughter be born but oh you know it's up there and uh yeah to kind of be up here on my own with just the squirrels and the blooming birds watching 
Now the biggest thing is to get back up and calm it all down, have another go and uh, see if we can get that speed back and clear this. I mean, I definitely got my front wheel onto that downward with a double action in the air and the back wheel is probably halfway in there. So let's, let's just get that right now. Kind of have that, that, that jumping zen moment where it all comes together and everything goes quiet and it just feels great. And I dropped the seat a bit further, I dropped it as low as it can go. I've been trying to ride it with with it sort of a few inches out as I would normally be riding, but I'm fed up with it's only a four inch drop. Uh, and I really, for best pedal efficiency, I need to have a, the, the, the seat post about that far and then the dropper. But I've been trying to ride it slightly down just to compromise pedal efficiency, but equally keep the saddle out of the way when I come to drops and jumps. It was really sticky. I should be getting a six inch drop of post and I would kind of sort it. Uh, but, you know, on, on a bike that costs this much, I've already spent a bit upgrading bearings and derailers, servicing the shocks, the forks, changing the brakes. You know, the last thing I want to be doing is, is swapping a drop of post just to gain another two inches and cost me another 100, 150 quid. So, that done. Let's, uh, my adrenaline's come down a bit, my nerves have uh, settled, let's go back up and have another little go at that. Let's see if we can get that that same line, that same angle. I mean, I'll be honest with you, although I committed to it at the top, until I came out with that berm with the right speed, I wasn't completely sure I was going to go ahead with that, so that's all good. I can now, from by here, commit to it and say, right, I'm coming back down and we're going to jump this, and, you know, it'll all be good. So let's get back to the top and get... Full run muddy bums number two. Let's get the lines right. Think about what we're doing. Pre pop. Paddles. Let's keep the trunk round. Round. Yes! Oh, that cleared it all. And to the transition. Oh, yes. Going to say he was a bit mucky. Wasn't the cleanest. But I was definitely to the downslope. Good speed. Nice and relaxed. Let's see if we can get a different angle on that baby. And try and show you all three of the jumps. Okay, cheers. Okay. Side angle ones. glasses off. Let's take the lid off a minute and I'll just step back from the uh, from the lift just in case somebody does decide to come through. But it's nice and quiet up here. Uh, again I appreciate you uh, staying with me and uh, and, and, and your comments. Uh, certainly been helping and improving my jumping and, and my riding generally. Uh, certainly appreciate them. Um, it's, it's been a little slow obviously with the content uh, just because of the difficulty of getting out and in the first few weeks I didn't really want to be out and about uh, but equally we've got to get out and uh, stretch our legs have our exercise so as you say local trails uh, kind of keeping it within the ability and uh, I'm trying to keep the risk down uh, but got to have that fun you got to have that release uh, and enjoy life uh, it's blue sky sunny day in the dusty trail so I've I've summarised my bike by taking the mud flap off. You know, that mud guard's been on there since, I think, October. So uh, that's come off and everything's running nice and clean and tidy. So I'm going to have another look at a, a few little jumps, little tiny ones, and uh, see how we get on there. But as always, appreciate your uh, your comments and your feedback. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Awesome if you subscribe and support the channel. 
and uh, help help grow. Uh, but looking forward to doing some more of these and getting out and pushing my limits and uh, and you know, all the driving safely, but in, improving. It's all about progression. So once again, a couple of horses coming, so we'll get out their way. But as always. Happy, uh, happy days and keep riding those blue sky trails. Okay, to the next one.